Now we're going to move on to parametric equations. So with parametric equations, you'd be given something like this, and then from this, you uh, you can draw your your curve. So uh, so this bit here represents the x direction, and then this bit here represents the y direction. So uh, so combine these two, it will give you the exact location on the x y plane. So uh, so with our with with our normal graph, with our with our old method of uh, of drawing graphs, it would be it would be when x is one, y is blah blah blah. When x is two, y is blah blah blah. When x is three, y is blah blah blah. But it is the x that drives everything. But with parametric equations, it is the it is a new parameter that drives everything. You, you can imagine the parameter as being time. So when time is one, the location will be well. Don't forget this here represents the the x direction, where exactly along the x direction, this will represent uh, where uh, exactly where it will be on the y direction. So when time is one, well you put sorry when time is zero, you would put the time you would put the zero into here, and then you would put the zero into here, and then this bit here will tell you the location. So uh, so when so so you can think you can think of this as as this because uh, this is your 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 x this this here tells you. Uh, the x coordinate. So this is your x coordinate. This here tells you the the location along the y direction. So that's really your y coordinate. So when given this here, you can imagine it as this. So when time is zero, re remember our old way of drawing graph would be when 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 time is uh, is uh, when x is zero, it is let's say here. When 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 x is one, let's say y is here. When x is two, let's say y is here. It it, it is the x that drives everything. Here it is a new parameter that drives everything. So you can imagine this as being time. You can imagine that as being time. So when time is zero, you put it into here. Sine of zero would be zero. So uh, so this thing here would be zero. So when time when when time is zero, put zero into here. Then this here would be one. So uh, so the y coordinate the y coordinate would be one. So your so when time is zero, the, your your starting Point would be here. Your initial point would be here. This is your starting point. When time is one, when when time is one, you uh, you put the one into here, and then you put the one into here. And if if you get your calculator and punch it, punch it into your calculator, it will give you the x and y coordinate, which will be here. So so when time is when time is zero, your starting point is here. When time is one, put it into here and into here. Then that will then that will then take you to somewhere around here. When time is two, put it in into here and put it into here, and then uh, and then and then it will it will give you the x coordinate of somewhere here, the y coordinate of minus something somewhere around here. When when time is three, you see it is a t that drives everything. So when t is three, you uh, you put it three into here, you put it in three three into here, and it will take you somewhere around here. When time is four. You put it into here, you put it into here, and it will take you to somewhere around here. When time is five, you you see, uh, when time is five, it will take you to somewhere around here. Uh, when time is six, it will then take you to I don't know somewhere around here. And and you can see that this here is your initial starting point, and then you can see the path is tracing out. It is actually tracing out a circle. So, so in in our our our, old, our old way of drawing graphs would be it would be the x that drives everything. When x is one, y is blah blah. When x is two, uh, what y is blah blah. But uh, but our new way of drawing uh of drawing curves would be uh would be us. You would be given something like this, and it's it is a t that drives everything. Okay, so so as it turns out, you uh you can actually tell the the path. You can actually tell the direction in in which it's going in. Okay, but but when you come to do this, um, rather than using one, two, three, it's, it might be easier to use pi. So when when t equals zero and and zero here, uh, it will, your starting point will be here. So rather than selecting one as your next point, you should select I don't know pi over two. It's easier to work in pi. Um, pi over two here. So uh, so that would be so when time when time is pi over two, which uh, Pi is 3.1, blah, blah blah, and then you divide it by two, so it's going to be somewhere around here. So when it's when um, when pi when when is that time pi over two? It, it will be here, um, be, because sine 
uh, sine of pi is uh, sine of pi over two is uh, is going to be one, uh, and then and then cos of pi over two is going to be zero. So so the coordinate here will be the coordinates here will be one zero, which will be here, and then the next one will be uh, so so when t when t equals pi over two, it will take you to here. When t equals pi, it will then take you to here. When t equals pi, uh, three pi over two, it will take you to here, and so on. Uh, it, it's easy to work in pi when, when it comes to uh, when it comes to this example. Okay, uh, and the reason why it traces out a circle is because of this. Uh, when when given when given your your equation here, um, you square square this that will then take you to this. Square both sides that will then take you to this, and then uh, and then get this at this. So that will mean you, on the other side you get this at this. So that will then take you to here. Factor out the uh, the a squared that will then give you this thing here. Well, this thing here is actually one. So uh, so when so that will then give you this. And then from this, you, sh you should recognize that this is an equation of a circle of radius a. Okay, so 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 you, here's another way of doing it. Okay, so uh, I will give you some more examples in the next video. Right.